Hi there. I was looking over this chart that shows which gears to use when you cut a thread on the lathe. I then discovered that I am missing one gear and that gear is this one. A gear with 20 teeth that's allowed me to cut the thread on the lathe with a pitch of 0 0.5 and that is metric of course. So this video is about to get birth of this gear that is missing by his fellow gear friends and uh, I will make the gear out of brass. As you can see I have already bored this and uh, made this uh, slot and the uh, width of the gear is 10 millimeters and <clears throat> the diameter of the gear should be let me see 30, 33 millimeters diameter and I will mount this uh, on this uh, arbor like so but uh, first of all I will make a small shim out of this aluminium rod I cut it off a piece here drill it out and then mount it together with this brass and uh, why I am doing that well if I mount that together with the brass and then cut the threads in this direction I uh, don't get any burrs on the gear the burr stands on the aluminium so that is the plan and what type of gear is it? well it's a metric and the module is 1.5 and the uh, depth of the gear or I should say maybe the high of the teeth will be 3 millimeters and uh, I will use I will use the gear cutter as I show you just a moment I will use this gear cutter to cut the gear so here's the plan I will uh, face this and uh, then cut off uh, about two millimeters I think but before I cut it off I will drill a hole that is 15 millimeters in diameter okay here we go
and now mounted this press and this thin uh, aluminium shim on the arbor and the plan is to take this down to 33 millimeters diameter Let's see what we got. Thirty-four point ten about. Thirty three point oh seven. Thirty three point zero zero. Couldn't be better. I'm a lucky man. I have now mounted the arbor and uh, the brass wheel with a thin aluminium shim in the dividing head and I have a support here and uh, then I will mount the cutter the gear cutter and it's essential that the gear cutter cuts in the absolute center center of the brass wheel and I will only take lighter cuts not the whole deep three millimeter in one cut in several cuts
we're getting close. And here we have the finished gear. I have removed the aluminium shim and you can see there are some bars outside here. And uh, here it's practi practically no bars at all, very little. I will be using this to get rid of the small burrs that are here. It looks pretty good. I give you the name 20 and may your life be long and healthy and let us hope that you don't lose any of your teeth. Thank you for watching.